Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our Team Lux Platinum training. This training takes place every third and fourth Monday of the month at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And sometimes we have a topic that you all have brought to me that you want extra training on. Sometimes it's a topic that I have determined is needed because of my one-on-one -on -one coachings with you. And sometimes we don't have a topic. Sometimes we just do Q&A and you get to ask any question that you have. Well, tonight, we're going to do a training on a 15-day quick start for new business partners. So one of the things that uh, you know, Mr. Moore and Mr. Bradley are always preaching to us is help your people, help your people, help your people. And I speak to so many of you. Some of you have been in the business a few months, some of you, you know, a year, and you're saying, Tanisha, I want to help my people, but I don't know what I should be doing. What should I be doing with my new business partner? So I kind of developed just a little step-by-step -step guide to help you guys so you know exactly what you should be doing to help your new business partner. Now, let me preface all of that by saying this. What I'm about to share with you, I would expect for a gold builder and above to do with your new business partner if you are not a gold builder. So let me repeat that. If you are someone, you have zero people on your team, you're a bronze, you're a silver, this is not what I would expect you to do with someone new, but this is what I would expect you to do. This is what I would expect your gold builder or above to do with you so that you can shadow them. And then by the time you hit gold builder yourself, you would have seen how it's supposed to be done, and then you can duplicate it. Does that make sense? I want you to comment in the chat if you guys understand what I'm saying to you. Does that make sense to you? I'm checking the chat. Kayla said yes. Shawanda said yes. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Just so some of you that may be new, I love interaction with this. This is not going to be me talking at you. I'm going to share some information, but I, I want the feedback from you all. Okay, so here's what we're going to start with. You like my little uh, graphic there? <laughs> so during the 15-day quick start, the sponsor slash gold builder should schedule three separate meetings or calls with the new business partner. One meeting will, go, will be to go over the first five days of activities. One will, go, will be to go over the next five days of activities and one to go over the last five days of activities. So what I have found, you guys are familiar with the four steps to a great start, right? That we have in our Planet Marketing back office. Well, what I found is that we're all trying to go over all that information in one phone call right, or one face-to-face, -face. and it's overwhelming. How many of you got started, you were onboarded, and all the information that was shared with you was like you thought your head was gonna explode? Did you guys feel that, or is it just me? Gina said me, right? It's so much information. Debbie said, yep, totally felt it. All right, Shawanda said me, Brittany said, yep, I felt the same way, Jerry said yes. So yes, it is info overload. So what I've done, guys, is I put together a system that spreads all of that out over 15 days. And what that's gonna allow you to do is really start developing a rapport with your new business partner. It's gonna allow your business partner to see you as a leader, because you're gonna be calling plays, right? You're gonna say, okay, I need you to get this, this, this done over the next five days, and then we're gonna have another call, you know, five days from now, and then I'm gonna give you the next set. So it allows you to build a relationship with your new business partner over the 15 days, you're gonna have three separate calls with them. And then after the 15 days, then you can have, maybe you schedule a bi-weekly touch face call with them or once a month call. So those are going to be um, the three calls. So it's the first five days, 
the next five days, and then the last five days. So after the 15 day quick start is completed, bam, fam, guys get familiar with that term. Bam, fam means book a meeting from a meeting with your new business partner so you can touch base with them on a regular basis and assist them as needed. So if I'm enrolling Debbie today, I'm gonna go over the activities for the first five days and before we hang up i'm going to say okay debbie let's schedule our follow-up for five days from now right for next week around this time scheduling regular touch base calls for the first 30 to 60 days will allow the sponsor and new business partner to build a rapport the new business partner will also gain confidence in you and see you as someone they are comfortable with following. This will also help with retention and ultimately reduce attrition. So let's talk about the first five days and the things that you want to go over with your new business partner. Number one, help them set up their Paylution account. Walk them through the process. Have them open up that Planet Marketing email and make a note of their user ID. Have them open up the Paylution email and click on activate and walk them through that process. Next, have them download the Planet Marketing mobile app and show them how to send a video. And don't just you know kind of explain it, but have them send you a video and then you watch the video so that they see what it looks like in the lead section, right? Have them go to the calendar section and find out where their local meeting is taking place. So show them all those things in the mobile app. Next, create a contact in your phone for, the pl for Planet Marketing, right? So many times people say, oh, well, I need to call Planet Marketing. And they're like, well, what's the phone number? Does anybody have the email? Right, tell them, say, you know, open up the Planet Marketing email, grab your cell phone, and create a contact for them. Put in Planet Marketing's phone number, your rep ID, which you'll need when you call them, and their email address. This way, you have their information at your fingertips. Next, have them schedule the weekly calls on their calendar and set it up as recurring appointments. Right, so definitely all of the corporate sponsored calls and webinars. So you have our corporate call, that uh, State of the Planet call on Sundays at nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You have the IMV Monday through Friday at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And then you have our corporate webinars, our opportunity webinars, our Tuesday through Friday um, at 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. Actually, it's Tuesday through Thursday. I gotta fix that. Eastern Standard Time, as well as any team calls or training. So let's show them. You have to remember a lot of people, for a lot of people, this is their first time owning a business. They're used to being an employee and being told what to do, when to do, and how to do it. So as a, as a sponsor, as a coach, as a leader, we are going to sometimes have to show, show, we're showing people this stuff for the first time. It's new to them. So it may sound kind of elementary to some of you to say, okay, tell them this, you know, pull out their calendar and set up the appointments. Yeah, for someone who's organized, we would auto automatically do that. But someone who's not organized or never owned a business before, they wouldn't even think to set these up on their calendar as a recurring appointment. For a lot of people, they may never have even used their cell phone calendar. So show them how to do that, right? And make sure they have those appointments. And this way, there should be no reason that we should have to constantly um, post the flyers of, okay, it's time for the IMV. We do it sometimes as a courtesy. I know Gina and Joy are amazing at doing that in my team chat, but we shouldn't have to do that. You guys are adults, you're CEOs of your own business. No one should have to tell you when to get on the IMV. No one should have to tell you that it's time for the team call. Does your boss have to call you to tell you to come to work? Absolutely not. So we wanna empower people and we wanna educate them. We wanna give them all the information up front and then allow them to then take it and run with it. Next, we wanna have the game plan interview. Right? This is straight from the four steps to a great start. So with the game plan interview, we're gonna to talk to them about their why. 
what is your why for starting this business? What are you looking for this business to do for you that you haven't been able to accomplish up until this point? And for some people, you're going to have to kind of probe them to really get them to tell you your real, their real why, right? I don't allow someone to tell me that they started the business just because they want to travel more. I don't, I don't buy that as a why, because if you wanted to travel more, you would just travel more. You didn't need to partner with me in this business to do that, right? So why weren't you traveling more? Right. And then they say, oh, well, because of money. Now we're getting to the real reason, the real reason. Right. So it's not about traveling more. It's about income or saving money or making money. So understand their why and understand uh, their monthly income goal. How much income do you want a month or do you need a month to live your ideal lifestyle? Right. For many of you who have uh, used me for the three way calls, one of the questions I always ask your prospect is if you had unlimited income and unlimited time, what would your life look like? Right. And once they explain that to me, I say, OK, how much do you need a month to live that life? And then I use the income disclosure statement and I'm able to show them which level of directorship they need to hit in order to make that type of money to live that type of lifestyle. Also, in the game plan interview, we're going to discuss how many hours per week can they commit to this business to make the type of money they're looking to make. And then we're going to have the buy-in conversation about being coachable. Will you be coachable? And take the time to explain to them what coachable looks like, right? Coachable means that I'm the coach, I'm going to call some plays, and you got to run the play. <laughs> That's the only way we're going to hit your goal if, if you run the play. Coachable means I'm going to stretch you out of your comfort zone into your money zone. Coachable means that you're going to allow me to coach, train, and develop you. Do you give me permission to coach, train, and develop you? Do you give me permission to stretch you out of your comfort zone into your money zone? And will you be coachable? And then wait for their answer. And if they say yes, then now you have permission to coach them. Now when you tell them, I need you to get registered for a convention, they get it done, right? Now when you tell them, I need you on the team call at 10 o'clock, they're on, right? So you have to get the buy-in. You have to get their permission to be their coach. You can't just assume the position just because you sold them a business. Does that make sense to you guys? So you want to get that buy-in so that the two of you are on the same page and both parties understand what their position is in this partnership, right? You're going to run the play. I'm going to call the play. That's, that's the relationship, right? Next, you're going to have the Jappy script training. Jappy, just ask peak interest script training with them. And don't just send them the script and say, hey, use this to prospect. Role play with them. For all of my new business partners, we role play. I say, okay, you're the, um, you're the planet marketing rep. I'm the prospect. Let's read this out loud. And I have them read it to me. They read their part, and then I give them a response, and then they read the next part, and then I give them my response. We go back and forth and role play it so they get a feel for what it's like to use the script, right? And this way I can answer any questions that they have. Next, we're going to explain the million-dollar seats, the three million-dollar seats. How many of you that are watching right now feel like you could – um, confidently explain the importance of the million dollar seats. I want you to uh, answer in the chat. How many of you, there's 44 of you on the line right now. How many of you feel that you could confidently explain the million dollar seats? Nobody? <laughs> I know, right, Camet? Okay, Gina said she could explain it. Lenevia said me. Okay, Jerry said maybe. Nicole said I can. Okay. For those of you that don't feel like you could explain the million dollar seats, go to my YouTube channel, right? Or even in the Team Lux Platinum, I also did a training breaking down the compensation plan. So if you have not watched it, go back and watch it because you wanna make sure that you can explain the million dollar seats. Now, once you explain the million dollar seats, you want your new business partner to identify their top nine people and then pique their interest using the Jappy script. So I used to say the top six, 
but let's go for nine for gold builder right because what if they expose nine people right on day one and all nine people are interested that would be phenomenal right and that would be great for you but how excited would your would your new business partner be if they got nine people on the very first shot but let's help them identify their top nine people so that we can help fill those million dollar seats those three million dollar seats right then after they send the jappy script to those top nine help them create their list of 50 to 100 people using a memory jogger and then help them categorize it using champs right next you want to schedule their business launch right get that scheduled within um, the first 72 hours and then also schedule their first pbr their first private business reception, AKA travel party, right? So I'm starting to refer to the planet marketing ones as private business receptions because IntelliTravel has their own travel party. And I think new business partners were getting confused. Well, what's a travel party? So private business reception. So that's everything that you want to cover during the first five days. And maybe during the, the homework assignment would be for them to finish. Maybe you help them come up with the first 20 for their list of 50 using the memory jogger and say, okay, over the next five days, I need you to come up with your list of 100, right? And get that ready. All right. So I want to hear, um, does anybody have any questions or comments about the first five days. And please unmute your line if you have a question, because your question might be something that someone else has as well. Do you guys think that all the information covered during the first five days is good? Kenesha? Yes. On the, um, on the first five days, it's just the planet side, correct? They're not- you, um, Correct. Correct, just the planet side, exactly, yes. Anybody else have any comments or concerns or feedback about the first five days? No? All right, so moving on. So again, before you finish the phone call, you're going to bam, bam, and say, okay, we're gonna follow up five days from now, what date and time, you know, what time works good for you? Right, so now you schedule the appointment. And now it's the next five days. So what are you gonna go over the next five days? Now you want them, you're gonna give them the homework assignment to watch the Planet Marketing training videos, right? They can watch the videos from their mobile app or they can watch it from their Planet Marketing back office page. You're also gonna give them um, the homework assignment to read your first year in network marketing. And you want them to get that finished within their first 30 days, right? So read your first year in network marketing and get that done within your first 30 days. Next, you want them to attend a weekly meeting with at least one guest if there is a meeting that's taking place within a two hour drive, right? And I'm talking about a planet marketing meeting because guys, your business partner has no idea the value of what they have in this business opportunity until they attend a weekly meeting. So we want to get them to a meeting because remember, a lot of your new business partners may join just based off of a video that you sent them and a three-way call. Right, so we want to hurry up and and get them to feel the culture. And once they attend that meeting, and especially if they have a guest with them, guess what happens when that guest sees what ha what's going on and what their new um, what their person is doing? They're going to want to join the business, right? So that's that could be possibly their first business partner, right? So we want to get them to attend a weekly meeting. If there is one, please mute your line. Please mute your line. Thank you. So you want to get your new business partners um, to attend a meeting, a business opportunity meeting, if there is one that's taking place within a two hour drive and have them bring a guest with them. Next, we want them to create a contact for IntelliTravel in their cell phone, right? 
we have a contact in their cell phone for Planet Marketing, we want them to do the same with IntelliTravel, right? So you're gonna have them pull up those two emails they received from IntelliTravel and have them create a contact in their cell phone address book. Next, you want to walk them through how to change their password with IntelliTravel. Next, you want to walk them through setting up their personalized website with IntelliTravel. Next, you want to give them the homework assignment to read the agent training manual. And also, you want to give them the homework assignment to complete the IntelliTravel online training videos. You also want to give them the homework assignment to watch the Come and Take a Tour video, as well as to watch the compliance video. And then next, you want to give them the homework assignment to register with the suppliers, right? There's a PDF that has the shared logins and the individual logins. So you want them to say, hey, over the next few days, few weeks, get registered with these suppliers. And then also, you want to inform them about the emails that they're going to get from IntelliTravel that um, feature, you know, they, where they announce which supplier they're going to feature in the upcoming webinar and let them know hey you're going to get a couple of emails from IntelliTravel every single week highlighting which supplier they're going to feature in the upcoming webinar you know register for those for those webinars so that you can get acclimated and familiar with our travel suppliers so that would be the homework assignments that you um, go over and um, give your new business partners for the next five days any comments, concerns, or questions about the next five days? Let's see, Martina said, if they are ITA only, is it best to do four to 12 for the first five days? Yes, you can do that, Martina, if they are an ITA only. But even with the ITA only, Martina, and I'm gonna go back, um, Instead of the Planet Marketing mobile app, let them know about the IntelliTravel podcast. So I would still go over that with them. I would still let an ITA only know about our corporate call as well as the IMV, right? I would still let them know about these things here because those things are not just specific to, you know, the corporate call is about the company. Right? Sometimes they're giving us information about IntelliTravel, so you still want to plug them into the calls and things. Um, you still want to have a game plan interview with your ITA only, right? Why did you become an ITA? What are your, your goals, um, your monthly income goals? How many weeks are you going to work this business? So you still want to go over that. You still want to ask them if they're going to be coachable. Um, and you still want to have a schedule a business launch with them and you still want to have a, a, a PBR with them, right? Except the PBR is now going to be an IntelliTravel travel party where they get to showcase their travel services. So there's still a lot of things from the first five days that you can do with an ITA only. Does that answer your question, Martina? She said, yes, perfect. Thank you. All right, any questions on next five days? So Neva says, I've been helping them go through the onboarding steps in the Team Lux group. How does that now plug into this? So um, Laniva, I'm gonna tweak that, but that's still great. That is still great. The only thing about um, the onboarding there, it's not broken down into 15 days, but you're still covering all the same things. So that, that's good. I'll eventually update that as well to match this, but great question, great question. Any other comments about the next five days? No, every, okay. So let's go to the last five days. The last five days, you now want to help your new business par partner book a fam trip or a personal trip for themselves, right? Because guys, if they book a fam trip that's, let's see, we're in July, and let's say you help your new business partner tonight book their first fam trip and it's not taking place until December or January, they're not going to let their business go on credit hold, are they? They're not going to do that because they just made an investment 
they have a trip coming up. So they're going to, they're going to want to, they're going to be excited about their business, right? They may even have to do a certification to go on that fam trip. So they're going to be super, super excited and invested into their business. You also want to help, um, share the information with your new business partner about becoming a CLIA member, right? And maybe you walk them through that step, right? They should, at this point, they should have read about the CLIA card, the Embark ID card by reading the agent training manual, as well as learned about it by completing the online academy, right? So talk to them about becoming a CLIA member so that they can take advantage of all the perks and benefits as a travel agent. Next, you want to help them set up their social media sites, right? Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, at a minimum, those three. And if there's some others that they're on, great, right? But help them do that. And then have them watch the um, training video that I did on how to market your travel business on social media, right? Right on my YouTube channel, but here's the link. And then this way now, you know, over these last 15 days, they've had this constant interaction with you. They're getting, you know, they're getting the business in, in little bits and pieces and not all at one time. And now they're going to be excited. They're going to have their confidence up because they, they don't feel like they were just overwhelmed with a whole bunch of stuff. So questions, 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 feedback. Please unmute yourself if, and share some feedback. Tanisha, can you hear me? Hey, Debbie. How are you? Fantastic. I just have a question, okay? When we doing the five days um, and they're coachable, this flow we should do with every new business partner? Yes, yeah, so what? here's my thought on everything, Debbie you are a gold builder and so if one of your new business partners who let's say is a bronze builder if they enroll a new person this is what you should be doing with the new person and the bronze builder so they should be shadowing you so that they learn how to duplicate the process so so that by the time your business partner goes from bronze to gold They've now watched you on board or send nine people through this 15 day quick start. So when they enroll that 10th person, they know exactly what to do. Does that make sense? Yes, ma'am. All clear. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Because guys, I have a lot of brand new business partners. They're just so eager and maybe they got, you know, their first business partner or their second business partner in their first week. And they're like, uh... What do I do with this person? Well, you really by yourself shouldn't be doing anything because you don't know anything. So it's so important when you get a new business partner, please don't miss the step of the welcome call, right? As a business partner, when you enroll a new business partner, you should be doing a welcome call to introduce your new business partner to your upline gold builder or your upline director. And then it's during there, that conversation that maybe you schedule um, the first five for their 15-day quick start. Does that make sense to everyone? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Tabitha said awesome information. Anybody else have any feedback? Feedback, comments, questions, concerns? Do you guys think that this was helpful? Hi, who's that? Hi, Gianna. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. I'm only a few days in. And so honestly, I'm like, oh my God, there's so much information to learn. So my question is, in which week will I feel like, okay, I've gotten all this information. I'm not so overwhelmed and I can just put all this information to you. Because right now I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> I know I'm not. <laughs> no, everybody feels that way. And you said it was Kiana? Diana, Diana. Diana? Yes. Okay. Jessica, Jessica Alice. Okay, awesome. Well, welcome to the team. And Sienna, I will tell you that your first 12 months in this business are going to be the hardest 12 months. And if you can survive, the first 12 months, you'll be good. 
And the reason why I say that, Sienna, is because your first 12 months in this business, you're learning about yourself, right? Because now you're going from an employee mindset to an entrepreneur mindset, and you're learning some, some things about yourself. You're also trying to learn about the marketing side of the business. You're also trying to learn about the travel side of the business. And for a lot of people, it's their first time in network marketing. So they're also learning about the industry. That is a lot of information. And so once you make it past your first 12 months, you kind of get a handle of things and you're like, oh, I, I kind of, I know what I'm doing now. And now I, I have the confidence and the knowledge that I feel like I can actually teach somebody else how to do it. So it's not going to happen anytime soon. You just take it step by step and you just, you have to be consistent with your business. Plug in is the best thing that I can tell you. Plug in, be on the, the conference calls, the IMB, the, the team calls, the trainings, go to the meetings. It's what you do over and over and over again. That's how you start to learn it. But it's not something you're just going to learn and say, oh, it's my first month. I'm good. I got it. I'm running. Does not happen. This is a business. It's a lot of information. Just the area of travel, you will not feel like you are a travel expert until years of doing this, of booking travel, right? Because every travel booking is new and unique and different, right? And there's hundreds of suppliers out there. So it'll be years before you even feel like you're an expert. But if you're plugging into the IntelliTravel weekly webinars with the suppliers, if you're going to events like um, IntelliQuest, ITQ, you're going to the Ensemble Convention, you're going to CLIA 360, you're doing the certification, you're on a travel agent Q&A, you're engaged in the IntelliTravel Departure Lounge group. If you immerse yourself in the culture, you're going to pick it up even quicker. But what happens is, unfortunately, Sienna, some people don't plug in, and so they never get to a point where they feel like they got it. Because they're like one foot in and one foot out. Does that make sense? Yes, it totally makes sense. It's kind of like you get what you put in. So exactly. Exactly. And my best advice to you, Sienna, is to get on your leader's calendar. You know, set up weekly one-on-ones with them so that you can share with them your progress, have them answer any questions that you have, and then, you know, let them know how you're feeling. If you don't raise your hand to say, hey, I need some help, I'm feeling stuck, I'm feeling confused, we don't know. We don't know. And also, um, and this is going to be helpful to all of you, Remember, Planet Marketing is only three and a half years old. And so for a lot of us, this is new. We've never done this before. Even if you've been in network marketing before, you've never done this before, right? Mr. Bradley said at pre-convention, he's never led a team of 46,000 people before. So even this is new for him and he's the founder of the company. So just imagine those of us on the lower level, how we're feeling. Right? I've never had a team of 1,100 people, so it's all new, and we're all learning and growing at the same time. So I say that to say, give grace to your leaders. Give some grace to your sponsor, because we're all learning and growing, and we're going to make some mistakes along the way. And as we learn and grow, we're going to tweak some things. And so this, I, this right here is a tweak to something I had already put out there of what you should do to onboard a new business partner. But again, because of the feedback that I've received from all of you, I've learned to kind of tweak it and stretch it into a 15 day. Does that make sense, Sienna? Does that help you? All right. Anybody else? I'm sorry. It does help. Oh, okay. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. That was a great question. Thank you. All right. Anybody else? Comments, concerns, suggestions, feedback. Any of my directors yes. online that want to share something? I'm on. It's a great, um, great 15 day overview. Um, I think how it's actually broken down will be um, less confusing for many and it will kind of give them a guide um, to, to what exactly it is. 
Um, mm -hmm. And I know this is recorded because a lot of people are asking that question. So yes, mm -hmm. all of the trainings um, that Tanisha does is recorded for those that are on the line to listen. And um, on the, um, are you gonna, I know you're posting the recording, but are you also posting the slide, Tanisha? Uh, yes, I can do that. I can do that. I'll have to make it a PDF or I'll just copy because I have the quick start. I'll just copy it as a post. Um, if you, so if you go back through, um, I got a couple of them. Um, so um, can you just go back through it again? Because I, I have it, so I'll send it to you. Do the next slide after this one. You want me to go through the slides you said? Yeah, go to the next one. Okay. Yeah, I got it from there. So yeah, I think I um it was the fir the first fifteen I got those. Was there anything after? Got that. Got that. Okay. Then I think you got them all. Okay, so then yeah, I'll I'll send it to you so you could have it to put in there. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right. Anybody else have any comments, concerns, feedback? Was this helpful for you all? Do you feel like this gives you a good guide? Um, and now you can maybe go back to some of your business partners, schedule a one-on-one -on -one with them and say, hey, just want to touch base with you. Um, just want to go over some things and make sure I didn't miss anything. Have you completed this? Have you completed that? Have you been launched? Have you scheduled your first travel party? You know, did you add these things to your calendar? Let me make sure you have all of the flyers for the meeting. Uh, let's get that on your calendar. By the way, did you set up your pay -lution? I forgot to go over that with you, right? Let's go, let's go back, you know, and say, hey, I'm still new. I'm still uh, growing and learning, and I just learned some new things on the training tonight, and I want to make sure that I covered all my bases with you. So go back and let your business, your new business partner know that you are there for them, right? And that, um, so that they can trust your leadership. So let's see, Karen says, yes, I'm new and this set a level of expectation for me. Awesome. So Karen, if you could unmute yourself, I want you to talk about that and, and share a little more about what you mean by that, about a, a new level of expectation for you. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi. Hi. Um, Troy Booker just bought me in. Yay. So, Hi, Troy. Congratulations. Um, thank you. Very excited about um, being here. But you know, when you come into um, a multi-level sort of uh, situation, um, many times you're just expected to go out there and peak interest in, and just get started, take off running and build this business and make it grow without any understanding of what it is that you've gotten into. So when you were saying that this is going to take you some time, you're going to have to study, you're going to have to plug yourself in, you're going to have to read and research and let me know, don't expect to go out there tomorrow and have five people ready to sign up. There's a lot to learn. And then the fact that you guys are still learning um, is also encouraging because you don't feel like you're coming in dumbfounded with a bunch of people that know absolutely everything, but they do know more than you. So I feel like I can call on any one of you if I if Troy wasn't available to me for whatever reason or if I was stuck. But I do know that what's expected of me is to take the time to read and learn. Don't be so quick to run out and try to grab people to join me in this because I don't know exactly fully what it is that I'm in. I right. understand it basically, but not enough to share it. So knowledge is power. So that's what you just told me. Become awesome. that, learn my awesome. business. Thank you so much, Karen. You know, you just sharing that just helped a lot of people on the line because I can guarantee you there's several new people on the line who was feeling the exact same way. So thank you so much for sharing that. That was awesome feedback. Nora said, this is so helpful. Debbie said, yes, this is great. Love it. Feel as though it will not be so overwhelming. Brittany said, yes, I didn't have this when I started. So this is very helpful. Nicole said, once again, your leadership is exemplary and excellent. Oh, thanks, Nicole. I appreciate that. Tamikia said, I like that. And Deborah said, exactly. Yep. So again, as you guys, and, and please, 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 keep the communication open, 
with the leadership, with your sponsor. We can't fix things if we don't know that they're broken, right? We don't know. So it's only because of the one-on-one -on -one coachings that I've been doing with a lot of you or doing the debrief after the three-way call. It's only because of those conversations that I'm having with different team members that I even came up with something like this, right? That, or even learned that there was a need for something like this. You know, so please keep the lines of communication open. Raise your hand if you're feeling stuck. Um, any other questions or concerns before I move on? No, no. All right. So the last thing I want to share is more kind of like a, a, a team call kind of sort of thing. Um, convention, convention, convention. There are less than a thousand tickets left for convention. That sounds like a lot, but it's not when you consider we're, what are we at, 46,000 active agents. So if you have not registered for convention, please, please, please get registered. Do not wait until the last minute when it's sold out and you're like, ah, anybody have a ticket, anybody? No, 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 no. If you are serious about making money in this business, you cannot do that unless you attend convention. I'm gonna repeat that. If you say you are serious about making money with this business opportunity, it will not happen without you attending convention period. And I'm just going to leave it at that. So go to your Planet Marketing virtual office dashboard, scroll down to the 2019 um, elevation section and register for convention. I'm super, super excited for this year's convention because we have over a hundred business partners from our organization that are registered for convention. That is phenomenal. So I'm super, super excited. And I want to see that number double, <laughs> right, before the tickets sell out. So please get ready for a convention. The other thing that I want to talk about, and this is probably going to go over the head of some of our new business partners, but I'm still going to put it out there because I believe as a leader, we have to, as Mr. Moore says, coach, train, and develop. As the leader of this organization, it is my responsibility to protect all of you. And if I see something, I need to say something. So uh, it was, and I'm gonna stop recording. Uh,